Nature Electric Stun Gun, Electric Eels The huge electrical charge that these well-known freshwater predators can produce to stun prey and deter predators gives them their name. They have electric organs in their bodies with roughly 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes that act as miniature batteries to store energy. These cells will simultaneously release their energy when under threat or attacking prey. Welcome to the channel, subscribe and let's dive in. Although eels resemble snakes, they are actually fish and are part of the anguilliforms order, which has roughly 800 different species. Some fish with a similar shape to eels, such as spiny eels and electric eels, are also referred to as eels, even though they do not belong to the anguilliforms order. The four primary species of real eels are conger eels, moray eels, American eels, and European eels. The majority of eels are predators that eat fish, snails, frogs, crabs, lobsters, and mussels. Eels sleep during the day and eat at night. These aquatic animals seek for prey by using their keen sense of smell. Fish with lengthy bodies are called eels, and they can be as long as 13 feet or as short as 2 inches for the one-jawed eel. Humans might weigh anything from 1.1 ounces to more than 55 pounds, European conger eels are the heaviest real eels. According to reports, this species can grow to a maximum length of 10 feet and a weight of 240 pounds. While some eels are longer and heavier, others are not. Pelvic fins are absent in eels and many other species, as well as pectoral fins. Along with the caudal fin, the animal's dorsal and anal fins create a single ribbon that extends for the majority of its length. Under their thick skin, many eels contain scales. The majority of eels are burrowers that inhabit the sand, mud, or among the rocks in the shallow waters of the ocean. The majority of eel species live at night and are therefore rarely observed. In holes or eel pits, they are occasionally spotted cohabitating. In the continental shelf and over slopes as deep as 13,000 feet, some species of eels also inhabit deeper water. Only Anguilla people live in fresh water on a regular basis, but they also go back to the ocean to reproduce. During breeding, some eel species can cover 4,000 kilometers. The eels do not eat during this extended period of travel, which can last up to seven months. Eels engage in hours-long body wrapping acts while mating, opening their jaws widely. The female lays her eggs, which the male subsequently fertilizes, and they don't separate till after that. Eels breed and eventually perish. Eels mature into adults after three years. Leptocephali, or flat, translucent larvae, are the first stage of life for baby eels. Eel larvae feed on marine snow, which are tiny particles that float in the water, as they move in the ocean's surface waters. Eel larvae then transform into glass eels, then into elvers, and eventually locate their habitats as juvenile and adult eels. Freshwater elvers must scale obstacles including weirs, dam walls, and natural waterfalls as they move upstream. Metamorphosis can be reversible in eels. Eels go through physical changes to be ready for spawning and the shift from freshwater to the marine environment when the weather cools and they migrate downriver to spawn in the ocean. When eels stop eating, one of these changes is gut degeneration because they must rely on their fat reserves to make the long trek back to the sea, where they spawn, to reach their final destination. Eels that are unable to finish their migration downriver because they are delayed, for instance because of obstructions or temperature increases, can actually undo that physical change and regenerate their guts. Eels swim in an undulating pattern through the water. Eels can go a short distance on land and can swim both forward and backward. The greatest risks to eels include pollution, environmental changes, overfishing, drainage, and hydro development. As rivers and other waterways are blocked by dams and other structures, eels lose their habitat and migration routes. Many eels are catadromous, which means they live in freshwater but reproduce in the ocean. As a result, dams and other river impediments might prevent them from getting to inland feeding sites. Eel ladders have been built more frequently in North America and Europe since the 1970s to aid fish in navigating obstacles. Overharvesting, habitat degradation, and mortality in hydropower plant turbines are further causes of localized population decreases. The fish business poses a threat to both marine and freshwater eels, with some populations of eels declining by as much as 99%. An alien parasite from East Asia that started appearing in European eels in the early 1980s is a threat to the populations of European eels. 
It has also been found in the United States since 1995 namely Texas and South Carolina, most likely as a result of unregulated eel shipments from aquaculture. Eel populations in Europe already have nematode infestations ranging from 30% to 100%. The parasite interferes with the swim bladder's ability to operate as a hydrostatic organ. In order to travel across the ocean using just stored energy, eels, who are open ocean voyaging animals, need the swim bladder, which accounts up 3-6% to of their mass. Animal entertainment and the pet trade both harm eels, especially the moray eel. The risks, challenges, physical requirements, and physiological demands of the animals appear to be unimportant in the lucrative pet trade and animal entertainment industries as they are taken from their natural habitat and transported to different nations to be sold as aquarium ornaments. When animals are taken out of their native environment, they are unable to freely engage in innate activities. Fish are harsh even when kept in captivity under ideal conditions. Fish kept as pets are always stressed and bored because they are kept in small tanks. They lose their ability to exercise, which weakens their immune systems and makes them more susceptible to illness. Many turn to self-mutilation as a way to cope with stress or boredom. Animals kept in cages frequently suffer from mental illness. By using DNA analysis discovered that there are actually three distinct species, Electrophorus volti, Electrophorus varii, and Electrophorus electricus. Electrophorus volti. The Amazon basin is home to the recently identified electric eel species Electrophorus volti. In honor of Alessandro Volta's contribution to the study of electricity, the device is named after the Italian physicist who developed the battery. This species is the most potent electric eel to be found so far. It can generate up to 860 volts of electricity, which is a huge increase over the 600 volts produced by the species that were previously known. The discovery of Electrophorus volti may completely alter the area of bioelectricity and shed light on how electric eels evolved. Electrophorus varii The freshwater fish Electrophorus varii, sometimes referred to as the electric eel or electro, is a species that is indigenous to South America. It is a sizable, cylindrical fish that can go as long as 2.5 meters and weigh more than 20 kilograms. Its capacity to produce electric shocks of up to 600 volts, which it employs for self-defense, communication with other eels, and prey hunting, is what distinguishes this fish from others. The interesting and intricate electric eel has drawn the attention of both experts and the general public. Electrophorus electricus Freshwater fish of the genus Electrophorus electricus, sometimes referred to as the electric eel, are indigenous to South America. It is well renowned for its capacity to produce potent electric shocks, which it employs for communication, navigation, and prey hunting. Specialized cells termed electrocytes, which are stacked in series to generate potent electric organs, are responsible for these electric shocks. The electric eel, despite its name, is actually more closely related to catfish and carp than it is to true eels. Because of its unusual powers and length of up to 2.5 meters, 8 feet, it is a well-liked exhibit in aquariums. The electric eel is an intriguing and unusual creature with a remarkable innate capacity to generate and discharge electric shocks. Science has been studying this capacity for years, and as a result, several technological advancements, such as the Nature Electric Stun Gun, have been made. Stun weapons are useful for self-defense, but it's vital to keep in mind that electric fish species, such as electric eels, employ their electrical discharges primarily for communication, navigation, and hunting in the wild. As a result, it's crucial to treat these animals with respect and carefully. Moreover, it's necessary to keep researching them in order to learn the secrets behind their amazing skills. Thank you for watching, follow for more.